Hello and just want to say congratulations on getting access to this video course on how to take your online course and setting it up on WordPress. What I want to do now is give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. This is video number one, video number two, we're going to talk about the big problem. So before we dive in and talk about how to, you know, set things up and all the technical aspects of everything, we want to tackle a major problem and a major reason why most people do not consume your course. We'll dive into it a lot deeper, but statistically they say that only about 10% of your online course is consumed, meaning most of your students will come in, they'll buy your course, and they'll only consume about 10% and then they'll quit. So we need to combat that, right? We need to set the experience up so that we can increase that number. So that is what that video is all about. And as you can imagine, that is crucial to tackle before we talk about the technical aspect of setting things up. Because actually setting things up is actually very easy. Video number three, we're going to talk about the experience. So once we understand the problem, we need to understand how to make a better experience for your students so that they consume the online course from start to finish. And then we'll talk about the technical aspect in video number four, such as the WordPress LMS plugin and LMS stands for learning management system and it's basically a system that allows you to set up your online course. So it's the environment that surrounds the course. So once I've given you a broad overview of different plugins that are out there and available to you, video number five, will talk about recommended WordPress LMS plugin that we highly recommend. And of course, video number six, we're going to talk about consumption boost. So based upon the big problem, how do we not only combat it, but boost the consumption rate? How do we get people to engage with this to continue to the end? And of course, video number seven, we'll talk about engagement. How do we get people to engage with your online course? And last but not least, we got video number eight, which is prestige and fun. And all that means is trying to make people feel good about themselves as they complete your course. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.